What is up, YouTubers? How you guys doing? Uh, today we're gonna be working on a little polyrhythm sauce. Uh, also, I realized in uh, well, realized due to you guys pointing it out in my last video when I said uh, check out the new poster and this is how you get it, and then I folded it and got so excited I forgot to tell you how to get it. All you gotta do for the um, the new uh, Mike Johnston Vader speed chart is go to your local music store and just tell them you want one. And all they gotta do is they just call Vader and Vader will send them right out to them. So the poster's totally free. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just go to your local music store uh, and it, it's global wherever you are if you're in Poland go to your local music store if you're in Thailand go to your local music store if you're anywhere else that ends in a land go to your local music store tell them you want the Mike Johnston Vader speed chart and they'll be like the Mike who's he what's it and be like please call Vader and ask for the Mike Johnston speed chart and they'll know what to do so they'll send them right out to you guys and you'll be you'll be in business all right guys let's get to work right away polyrhythms we did a polyrhythm week on Mike'sLessons.com, and I noticed a lot of people were kind of, I, I wouldn't say misconceived on what polyrhythms were, but uh, just had it, you know, uh, only to a certain degree. Same with some of my private students, um, and I was lucky enough to study with Pete Magadini for a long time. That was my longtime teacher, and he wrote most of the books that we use to learn about polyrhythms, uh, Musician's Guide to Polyrhythms and stuff, and so he's just a polyrhythm stud, and so he gave me a great understanding of polyrhythms and because to me you know I do something like this right and I'd be like I'm playing polyrhythms and he'd be like really how are you thinking of it and I'd be like boom ba chack boom chick boom boom ba chack boom chick boom boom but and he's like well then that's not a polyrhythm that's just a rhythm you know and I was like but it's three over four and he's like well but it's not because you're not you're only in this like you're thinking of it as boom but chack doom pick boom boom but chack doom or one a two and three e and one a two and three e one a two and three e well that's not a polyrhythm because i'm only in this as my pulse now these are two constant rates of speed going at the exact same time this one is faster than this one i'm getting four hits in the exact same amount of time that i'm getting three hits and both of them are evenly spaced constant rates of speed so to make it a true polyrhythm, yeah, I'm playing it, but I also have to be able to think of it. I have to make this a quarter note for me. Bam, 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 bam. And then I also have to make this a quarter note. Now this would be a quarter note in three, four. And this would be a quarter note in four, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the three of the three over four. Then I also have to make this a quarter note for myself. This is the part that sucks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. I should have done this with a metronome because I'm starting to speed up and I should have not started talking like this because now I have no idea where I'm at. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's what makes it a polyrhythm is being able to think and play in either one of those as your pulse. Okay, so one of the exercises that I came up with to kind of help myself do that um, as I was learning with Pete was to treat my limbs like a mixing board and I would raise the volume of each limb um, as I was working on it so that I could hear it. Like if I do this, right, you're automatically going to gravitate towards that. That's your pulse. You're thinking boom, ba ka goom ba ba goom ka ba doom ba goom ba ba doom um um. But now once I get rid of this, hey, that guy was there the whole time. We just didn't hear that as our pulse. So you have to be able to think of both of those as your pulse. So what I do is I start out even, and then I'll raise the volume of my right leg or my bass drum foot, that fader, and I'll, and I'll bring the fader down on my left foot. And then I'll even them out, and I'll raise the fader of my left foot and bring my right foot down. So I want you to check that out real quick.
All right, so that exercise really, really helped me get used to like identifying this as a constant pulse as well. And this, it's like, well, that can be a quarter note too. I have to stop leaning this way and hearing that. I got to kind of, and, and like even leaning. I mean, guys, don't be scared to try stuff out. Lean this way and be like, that's my guy right there. All right. No, that's my guy right there. Uh, huh. You know, and kind of go back and forth. Do whatever you have to do to make this stuff, uh, you know, kind of make sense. Now, the first thing I would do after that, besides being able to play quarter notes in this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can even count to four. Even though this is in three, four, you can still count to four over that, just using it as a pulse. And then, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, e and a two, e and a three, e and a one, e and a two, e and a three, and one, e and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, e and a two, and a three, and a four, and a Once you can do all that kind of stuff, and you can play quarter note rock beat grooves, boom, ka, boom, ka, ding, ka, ding, ka, ding, ka, ding, ka. Ding ka ding ka ding ka ding ka ding ka. You don't know Ding Ka? Ding Ka was uh he was a senior when I was freshman. Anyways, uh so you could do that, but then try paradiddles. Try a paradiddle groove. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle groove. So put your right hand on the ride symbol, left hand on the snare, and try to do that matched with this as our pulse, and then this as our pulse. It's really, really tough. You might even want to be able to speak it first. Um, by the way, doing this whole lesson while doing this with my feet and talking to you guys has not been easy. The inside of my brain is like this. And I'm like just trying to hold my face together while I'm doing this. All right, so, uh, paradiddle, 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 this guy's from the country. Paradiddle, 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 country. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Let's give it a shot. So guys, obviously there's so much that can be done with polyrhythms once you can play in both. It's not about just playing in one. If you only play in one pulse, then you're only getting half the musical possibilities. But if you can play in the three and in the four, then you double your possibilities, all right? So, um, you know, it was a real treat for me to watch Pete do some of the stuff that he can do. I mean, he can take this stuff way farther than I can. And I just sit there watching him going like, oh my God, bro. Well, I didn't call him bro. He was like Yoda, so I just called him sir. Uh, I was like, uh, yeah, whatever, man. Uh, you know, and he would show me, look, this is how far it can go. And I was like, wow, man, that's crazy. So guys, remember, I give you the blueprint, but you got to build the house. You have to take it somewhere and do something with it and make it your own. And then you can feel proud about it. You know, you can say, look, man, this is kind of what, you know, I saw Mike do on YouTube, but this is where I took it. This is how far I went with it. And that's really, really cool. I hope you got something out of that. We'll see you next time. Peace. That's a